Hello everyone and welcome to Wicked Whiskers. So, let's presume that you are a fan of traditional wet shaving and you got yourself either Simoke or Omega Bore Brush. What would be the first uh, point uh, of action for you is to actually increase the breaking in period. If you watched uh, my previous videos, and I certainly hope that you did, you might notice that I quite frequently use this Omega bore brush, which is now pretty soft and it has really exceptional and splayed uh, bristle, bristle tips. I'll try to zoom it a little bit so you can see. Basically on the ends you will see that V-shaped splays. But in overall the splayed tips will be a little bit lighter in coloring, as you can see. So basically everything until this two finger from the end of the bristles is actually split. You can see it on these ones, because now it is pretty dense. You can see here even four and five splits on a single hair, so... You can achieve this by regular usage of the shaving brush, but just in case that you want to speed up the process a little bit and to avoid the cracking of the handle, which is not possible with the plastic ones, but I will show you on Simoke how to do that. First of all, take a regular glass, transparent, you will need that, so just swirl the brush so all the bristles are fit in and make sure that the diameter of the glass is close to the diameter of the handle so it always stays vertical and now add a little bit of water just so that first two or three centimeters of the bristles are covered as you can see in here you don't want to soak entire knot, but just make sure that you have two or three centimeters of just tap water inside. As you can see, this would be just fine. And leave your brush like this in the cabinet or somewhere else. Here is the water level. Here is the end of the brush knot. So keep this for 24 hours. Then rinse off, dry the brush, perhaps perform a bowl leathering without shaving, and then repeat another 2 cm of water for the next 24 hours. This will help the brush to soak as much water as it can, as you can see, and it will start to loosen up the whiskers ends so they will be sort of prepared for your next shaves. With smoke brushes, I don't have now the correct glass to show you that. As you can see, the construction of the brush is a little bit different. So they are going uh, to splay more like a fan like this and they will look like this when they are being used frequently but still you can see how the fluffy the ends are let me find the best angle and on this portion you can see the ends are a little bit lighter compared to the stem of the bristles and when comparing these two brushes you can see that this is pretty much yellowish, like the real pig, while this is pretty blonde, almost silver-like. So, depending on the bristle tips, you will need to repeat this process more or less, but in overall, you will have pretty much same results. And especially if you have the wooden handle, uh, that would cause wood to expand by the weight and the thickness of the bristles. So keep your mind to not dip too much of the loft because 
as more water will be absorbed it will tend to increase in this size and your handle will probably crack. It's not a fault by any manufacturer, it will happen to uh, any brush which is made from wood, it's simply the nature characteristics of the wood. It will absorb water. Now these uh, retention uh, rings might help you with that, but in overall just follow my advice. Two fingers from the top, moisten your loft approximately up here and you won't have any major issues for any other subsequent shaves your brush will be nice smooth soft and it will create a monstrosity of the leather because all the split ends will increase in volume you will have a much larger surface to leather with and it's like doubling the size of the br bristles in the knot so as you can see it is firmly wet and once that uh, the bristles are broken in they will not soak that much uh, shaving soap or cream so basically your brush will behave more or less as synthetics or the badger ones because the only issue which I have when the brushes are drinking too much of the shaving leather is when they are new and they're still breaking in and the more and more you shave with them they will always absorb a different quantity of leather and water until they are completely broken and when that uh, moment happens you will have just consistent shaves and you will know just enough how long to soak it in the water prior to the shave how much soap to use and basically this is it so if you like the bore brushes i hope that uh, this helped you a little bit and i'll see you in the next shaves so thanks for watching and stay tuned